Happy almost new year, everybody. Uh, today is December 30th, 2023. I'm recording this with my iPhone 12 mini. I'm gonna be switching this phone, which is uses TCI or Alaska's oldest uh, cell phone company, um, over to a Pixel 7 Pro. So we'll see how that change will happen, but um, there's a reason why I'm doing that, because this only has six gigabytes left of memory, and hopefully has enough to record this video. <laughs> But it's running low on memory, and it's uh, it was a used phone when I bought it two years ago. So it has lasted two years. The battery's been okay. I mean, it's an iPhone 12 mini. And the battery wasn't the best um, on reviews. The cameras are all right, um, but I think it's time to change up. And the Pixel 7 Pro was only $395 plus shipping. To me here in Anchorage, Alaska. So I thought that was a good bargain and I, I've been watching videos and, and it, on YouTube of course it's like this um, saying that the Pixel 7 Pro is the best camera for photography which I like to do. Um, I studied photography in high school that's why I like to do it but I also trying to do little video recordings too. It has good good cameras for that so that thing with my iPhone 12 Pro and um, it's over there um, my iPhone 12 mini is that it doesn't do very good in low light both cameras I mean even the 12 Pro doesn't do good low light photos so that's why I'm switching to um, uh, Pixel Pro and I've, I've used both Android and uh, um, Apple products, and I could switch back and forth, back and forth. I mean, it's no problem for me. Um, just like um, Mac PCs and uh, Windows 11 or Windows uh, 10, I, I, I'm used to both of them. Um, right now I have two laptops. Um, excuse my messy living room. But I have uh, iPhone, <laughs> a Dell Windows uh, 11 uh, laptop I use for my college. I'm enrolled at WGU um, University. I'm getting my master's degree in business, um, MBA. So I passed my first class. I'm on the second class right now. Uh, the second class needs to be more challenging because I have to, instead of writing a paper, which I'm, I'm a pro at writing, <laughs> um, long, long papers, because I'm used to doing grants, and grants you just lay out, go by the layout, and how you're being judged, and you just address those. It's the exact same thing at WGU, and paper-wise, so I pass those, no problem. But the proctor, proctored exam uh, will be more of a challenge for me. I don't really do good on tests, so we shall see. Uh, um, the proctored exam will be when I, whenever I feel comfortable with the the um, the the stuff that I am studying, which is operational management. Um, the first one was. Um, uh, what was it? It was um, a SWOT analysis on the your current employer, which is easy because we just went through one at my employer, and so the SWOT analysis was no problem. I mean, I could do one really fast. I mean, and then uh, just judging. Um, changes that could happen and what the current management is doing appease uh, uh, to the what we're studying uh, in organism and uh, management styles using the SWOT analysis which is exactly what they're doing is they support the staff and um, they encourage them to get a college education which is exactly what the uh, course material was um, alluding to 
um, which my current employer, ANTHC, does do that a lot. And they're helping me pay for my master's program. So uh, that's one good thing. Um, just sitting here in my living room on New Year's Eve Eve. Uh, it's a Saturday. I'm 45 years old and I don't do bars. <laughs> I don't feel like going out. My brother's uh, staying with me for two nights. Uh, he's visiting his kids that live here in Anchorage. Um, he still owns a house with his ex-wife. So um, I was teasing him. If your wife moved out of the house and once she moved back into their house. <laughs> he said no. So I was like, okay, you do you, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to be going back to Arizona, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, um, in two weeks, uh, around the 15th of January, and then come back the 20th of January for five days. And I'll be driving my parents around and trying to visit stuff that they can visit. They're, they're not as mobile as me, so... It's going to be challenging, but um, I'll try to drive them around. Dad likes to look at water and lakes and stuff like that. And there are some in Arizona, just that the places that we visited when we, we first went there 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Um, so I'm going to show him what Arizona could look like. Um, he is 79 years old, so... Um, he could buy a place down there, no problem. But I don't know if he would want to. Being a snowbird again, he is 79 years old. <laughs> but it's good to warm up. I mean, it's 20 below back in Fairbanks, uh, where they live. Um, I don't have any plans for New Year's. Um, I got texted that they want to Eskimo dance. And my cousin's in town. He used to run the dance group that I used to be in. So I was going to email them and see when a good time was for me to use our, our work area. Um, I still need to do the drywall in my house. I've been putting that off. But I had a plumber here the other day who did charge me a lot. Well, I think it's a lot. It was $700 to change out my water heater um, pipes and my sink and my uh, garbage disposal and um, take a look at my furnace to see if it needed any work on it. He said it didn't need any work, but it needed to change the air filters. And I was like, where the hell are the air filters on this thing? Because I know where they are in my parents' air forced air furnace, which mine just turned off. First forced air, natural gas forced air. Um, but I don't know. He just looked at it and showed me, and changed it. But he didn't work on the furnace at all. So I think that was a little bit of a rip off, but. What can you do? He did a good job in the sink and did a good job in the water here. I don't feel comfortable doing plumbing myself. I can do electrical because my dad's an electrician. He taught me how to do electrical so I can change a light bulb, um, a light fixture or change a um, plug-in or something like that. That's no problem for me. But plumbing, I... I always get worried about doing it myself, but I guess I should get comfortable having the, those new shark bite things for um, plumbing, so I, I should just invest into those. Um, yeah, just me rambling. Thought I'd say Happy New Year. Um, my future plans um, to graduate and hopefully move up in the company. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.